Good morning and thanks for joining us for the News 12 Fastcast. I'm Ashley Campbell. It's 1150 on your Friday, June 28th. As temperatures reach triple digits, we've seen an increase in fires in our area. But how do firefighters avoid heat related illnesses when they're fighting those fires? Within the last hour, Aiken crews responded to an electrical fire on Oliver Street in Beach Island. That fire was called in just after 10 o'clock this morning. Crews on scene say that the storage shed is a total loss. Dispatch said no injuries were reported and no surrounding buildings were in danger. Kennedy Payne is talking with firefighters on how they prep for that heat. If you've been outside at all this week, you know that it's hot. We even hit triple digits earlier this week, and at some point you may have even been sitting in traffic. That's probably due to some brush fires that we've had. Well, our firefighters are the ones that's taking care of that. So today we're going to learn how they're preparing and how they're training for these summer months, as well as how they're keeping themselves cool during this extreme heat. They're also going to give us some tips on how to avoid those brush fires. So we'll have more on this on News 12 at 6 o'clock. All right, thanks. And as temperatures continue to rise, you may need a place to cool off. The city of Augusta is opening cooling shelters around the area. Those include May Park, the Warren Road Community Center, Carrie J. Mays Community Center, and more. Those centers are open starting at 6 a.m. until 8 p.m. You can find a full list of centers, times, and when they're open, along with a few safety tips at WRDW.com. Richmond County deputies are looking for two armed robbery suspects. Take a look at your screen there. 19 year old Andrea or Andre Cooper and an unnamed suspect are wanted for an armed robbery on Wrightsboro Road yesterday. Cooper is known to be in the area of Fox Trace and Fairmont Street. Deputies say both should be considered armed and dangerous. So if you have any information, call the number right there on your screen. Richmond County deputies responding to a shooting on 15th Street this morning. Investigators say around 745 deputies found a man who was shot at least once in the parking lot of a business. Coroner Mark Bowen says the name of the victim will be released once family is notified. The sheriff's office and coroner's office are both investigating. For the first time in American history, a sitting president and a former president met in a debate. It was former President Trump and President Biden's first debate since 2020. Both candidates treated insults, even debating their golf game on the stage. And now we've got to wait and see if this debate will shift those undecided voters. One poll conducted before the debate found a tight race with 16 percent of voters undecided. Voters shared what issues they wanted the tank candidates to talk about like immigration, abortion, and the state of the economy. The former president said, we have never done so well, while the president countered that argument. The candidates are set to debate again in September. And back here at home, the Augusta Boxing Club is celebrating 50 years. In July, they have plans for a large fight, which also serves as a book bag drive. Our Zena Halliburton is joining the kids in the ring to see how this club has impacted youth. I'm here at the Augusta Boxing Club. They are celebrating 50 years. They're gearing up for their big fight happening next month, which also serves as a book bag drive. So they'll be giving out a lot of book bags for kids before the school year. So we're going to be talking to the kids about why they joined the Augusta Boxing Club, what they've learned, and also maybe you'll see me in the ring or doing something as well. So you'll have to stay tuned tonight at 6 o'clock to hear from the Augusta Boxing Club director about what they've accomplished in the 50 years, what he wants to accomplish in the next next 50 years and of course you'll hear from the kids about why they enjoy coming here. All right, looking forward to that, Zaina. Thank you. Augusta University is hosting a Viceroy Kids Camp. The event is going to teach kids about building electronics, programming, cybersecurity, and cyber ethics. Julius Evans is there to see the future cyber generation in action. I'm here at Augusta University for the last day of their Viceroy Camp for kids in grade groups fourth through eighth. Now this program is for kids to get their feet wet and learning about coding and an introductory and course lesson on the importance of cybersecurity and making online safe. You can see down here all the kids participating. They're getting ready to uh, set up for their, um, their race with robots that they built and, and controllers that they program. I'm going to be looking to talk to some kids really about what they learned and what they're really getting out of this, as well as some counselors about really the importance of all this and really establishing the future of and the next generation of cybersecurity in Augusta. 
Thanks, Julius. Payne College is bringing back its insurance coverage benefits for full-time employees. It comes after they suspended those benefits last month because of the rising costs in maintaining them. In a statement, officials say that a new broker team is working with the college to help with expansion. Payne College's president says that the college regrets any interruption in their benefits, and she goes on to say the college believes they're in a better place with insurance. School officials mentioned today is the last day for enrollment. Coverage will start next Monday. To the city of Grovetown now, where officers say they've arrested two people following an investigation into child sex abuse. And we do want to warn you, what you hear may be hard to listen to. They say the investigation started after a cyber tip from an online chat platform claiming someone tried to solicit men in the area to have intercourse with a toddler. Investigators accused 26-year-old Ashley Crawley of creating sexual content and selling it online. Officers say some of the content was made with children present. They add 29 year old James Tripp wanted permission from Crawley to engage in intercourse with a child. Defects has removed children from that home. The two are facing several charges with more expected to come. And several leaders around Washington County are organizing a benefit lunch for a deputy. Earlier this month, the sheriff's office reported one of their deputies was seriously injured after an accident. Organizers are putting together the lunch to help Deputy Alley and his family with medical costs. It's going to be at the former Direct Furniture Building on South Harris Street. It's happening right now and it ends at 1, so you still have time to make it out there. Plates of food are going to be sold for donations that will go to his family. We want to thank you for watching this News 12 Fastcast. News 12 Midday starts in about three minutes. In the meantime, here's a look at your forecast.